Bro, it's happening. It's happening. Okay, let's see. Natlin preview teaser. Little buddy. Little buddy. What up, little buddy? What up, little bro? My camera's all out of focus. My hair's all over the place. All right, let's go. Okay. Actually adorable. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Nah, why does this look... F <laughs> Yo, this looks good. Like, from a, visually, this looks valid. Okay. Who is that? What is that? Ah! I assume it's a boss or something. Oh. 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 Hey. Hey. Is that it? Wow, wait, what? It's only a minute? Okay. Huh. Huh. Okay, it looks good. It looks dope. Like, okay, from a shot to hex juice, from a visual standpoint, this genuinely does look beautiful. Like, the scenery of it's pretty top tier. This little homie's adorable. But I'm not going to lie to you. I, uh, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this. I got a lot of hate in the last video. Um, taking this out of any context I've had about Natlin, this looks beautiful. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to lie to you. This genuinely looks, uh, like nuclear cinema. Um, and like, it's very, very unique designs. Like that's sick. I love this little spinning pyramid thing. Hopefully that's some type of mechanic or something there. Like if you see, I believe there's something glowing right next to it. So hopefully we get to interact with this. Maybe like you turn into one of the little monsters or something. I do think it's going to be very centered around like obviously each region had their theme. Well, I want to say each region had their theme, but like Fontaine had the theme where like the two alignments. I think obviously, as we saw from the other trailers, it is going to be linked into like turning into these little Pokemon and stuff. But um, Pokemon, uh, but like this is adorable and stuff. I think this is actually sick. Um. Like, look at that. Like, that is beautiful. Like, that is beautiful. Th this shot, this is the money shot. Like, that, this is my favorite one. I'm not going to lie to you. That is my favorite background. Um, but my, my concern, though, and it just, it is what it is. Like, we look at this, right? And in this trailer, like, they were kind of throwing around the little Pokeball. And people are like, oh my god, like there's gonna be like a stadium, there's like a fighting coliseum, and I don't think it's gonna be like a fighting coliseum or something like that. You see how they're throwing this around? I think this Natlin, uh, this region is really going to center around turning into these little homies, uh, and maybe like having Pokemon duels or something. And I don't know what the significance or the importance of this will be, but like, I don't, I don't see us going into this stadium, this coliseum. And fighting Cappuccino or Cappuccino, whatever this homie's name is. I see us going in there as like a Pokemon or with the Pokemon fighting other Pokemon. Like, I don't think this is going to be um, a dark story with any... Man, I, I'm going to get hate. I don't think it's going to be a dark story that people were expecting from the land of the war with really any type of consequences. I feel like... Everyone was a little hesitant at first when the first teaser dropped because of the fact they were like, okay, like it was only a 10 second teaser on like the 4.6 or 4.7 and it looked cute and it looked very colorful. But we're like, okay, let's wait. Let's see what happens. They're showing more of Natlin and visually this looks beautiful and this, look, this looks like something ripped out of Destiny 2. It looks insane. I love it. But the more I see this, the more colorful, the more vibrant, the more like you know it just is not giving vibes of land of the war man i, I just i'm not feeling it S taking you know obviously there's tons of controversy around it in itself right but even just putting that to the side just looking at the content of itself like it looks adorable but it just looks like more genshin impact as opposed to something uh innovative and that's just like not that the turning into these little homies isn't innovative like turning into three or four of these is cool and i'm not going to be against it like i'm sure i'm going to have fun with it and I'll, and I'll enjoy it but it's like i don't know i think maybe it's my fault i came into this with expectations um so again stripping my expectations away from this 
This trailer was beautiful, but I do think this brings up my concerns of the consistent storytelling of Genshin, where it's like the Archon Quest is going to be really just nonsense for the first two. At the third one, it's going to pick up, or it's going to be bad, because the third Archon Quest is usually pretty bad. The fourth one, things are going to get a little crazy, and then the fifth one, things are going to get resolved, and you find out nothing about your uh, twin twin. And that's my concern, and I don't think it's going to have a really negative or dark theme to it. Um, that is that is my fear. So, um, But as this, as its own thing, adorable, beautiful, cute, but... Um, I don't know, man. I, I hope they change it up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I really hope they change it up. I hope they make um make it interesting. And I just hope that it's it's more than just a happy go lucky. Yeah, no, he doesn't he's gonna pull out his he's gonna pull out his Snorlax and I'm gonna pull out my Charizard and we're gonna fight. I just don't want it to be this happy go lucky thing. This is the only kind of like dark tone we've gotten from this from any of the drip any of the drip now maybe they're holding it all off and the tone could shift and there's different parts i mean one thing i will 100 percent point out is you can see there's a definitely big dynamic change with the areas cliffs sunny skies whatever yada 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 then you go into like more of a you know village type shit then you go into like places with like a bunch of rocks and uh, then you go into like this. I thought this was Fontaine for a second. It looked like Fontaine, like something completely different, like snow or like super chilly and chilled, you know, environment. So maybe there'll be dynamic change, but I guess this is just making me nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. It's making me think that it's just going to be more of the same stuff. And I, not that more Genshin is bad, but as, as someone who wanted more, um, I don't know. I don't know. I hope that makes sense. I feel like I'm explaining it pretty well uh, in the fact that, again, Nation of the War, colorful vibes, positive music, um, a Coliseum that's probably just going to be used for Pokemon uh, based off the other trailer that we saw. And, um, you know, turning into these little cute animals are adorable. Like, it's cute. But when you think of the Nation of the War, like, again, I when I think Nation of the War, I'm thinking of, like, the Keyblade Graveyard from Kingdom Hearts, right? Uh, you know, Birth I Sleep. I'm thinking of like some gritty, gritty, nasty stuff. And we have this little adorable Pokemon walking around, traveling underground. Like, this is the cutest thing in the world. And that is what is concerning to me. That it's just cute. And it's... I, I think it's just going to be the same play-by-play, -play, the same formula, and um, I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see, man. We'll see what we'll see what the vibes are. I mean, what can you do, right? With that being said, I love you guys. Mwah, roast me in the comments. Let me know what you think about this. Yeah.